my citation Bring me outside. for... Bring me outside! Like, I hate white people! I hate them! That's why you're laughing, because you're white! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Boy, has it been a crazy, crazy week here in Florida. Between a hurricane hitting, <laughs> constant thunderstorms, and of course, just daily life getting in the way. It's been a long week. But of course, you guys know how much I love you and how much I love doing videos here on YouTube. So I was like, I've got to get it together. I'm alive. I still have a roof over my head. Now it's time to film. By the way, it is raining right now. So if you guys hear any outside noise, I apologize. Now let's get into today's video. As you saw from the intro, it's crazy. So I don't know why but as of late I've been kind of obsessed with watching arrest videos on YouTube And I'm talking about raw arrest videos people who get caught doing things and the cops show up and I just watch the body cam And some of these videos are like two hours long and I don't know why but I find myself just binging these videos I freaking love them something's wrong with me I know and so I figured these videos are so insane I've got to react at least to one of them with my subscribers and then I came across this video which I have not watched yet But the title alone I was like, all right, we are doing a video on this this week. And the title is Woman Tells Cop to Hurry Up Before He Discovers Her Warrant. This can't be real, but it is. Sit back, relax, let's watch this video together, break it down. Now, I will say that in watching many of these videos, unfortunately, somehow, some way, it always turns into a racial battle with some of these criminals, and it's really sad. And so I'm hoping that this woman doesn't fall into that line and doesn't fall into that rabbit hole, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, now, before we get into this video, I gotta pay some bills, and I got a sponsorship for today's video. Nah, uh, uh. Don't you even think about skipping this part of the video. I see you. I just yell at my subscribers. I'm very thankful to be supported. It's a blessing. So without further ado, let's watch this sponsorship video together and then let's watch this reaction video. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there is a better way to end your bad habits. And no, we're not talking about crazy magic. We're talking about today's sponsor, Fume. They look at the problem in a different way. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural delicious flavors. Guys, no joke, I was super impressed with how easy this was to use. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habits. The truth is, not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative award and nominated device that does just that. So I got the original core flavors, maple pepper, white cranberry, and my personal favorite, crisp mint, which I cannot stop using. You can also order the citrus course bundle, which comes with the flavors, raspberry lemon, orange vanilla, and sparkling grapefruit. You also have the option of getting the complete course bundle, which comes with all of the flavors. Each packet comes with three cores. You're going to twist the barrel to open, then insert the core from the top. Once installed, close and twist again. And now it's ready to use. I'm loving it. I love the fact that it is secure, so it's not gonna fall out. And it just keeps you busy. Do you hear this? You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit pretty easy. The truth is, stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. But switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. And there's no reason that can't be you too. Head over to tryfume.com slash curlyboychuck or scan the QR code and use code curlyboychuck to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code curlyboychuck to save an additional 10% off of your order today. Don't wait, try it now. Uh-uh, pup, this one is mine. All right, I'm all queued up. Let's watch this. Due to the vehicle traveling 42 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone, the officer initiated a traffic stop. 42 miles per hour. The driver was identified as 22-year-old Shala Jordan. All right, come on. Be nice. Can you put down this window? I, 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 I said. 
the sun out of the road. But the reason I'm stopping is just the speed, because my dad was 25 and we were going about 42. She stated her speedometer was broken and believed she was only going five miles per hour over the Of course, yeah, it was so broken. And then, um, so I do smell some enticement coming from the car. Mm. Not super strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm trying to stay up. I got two Yeah. Okay, pause for a second. So, so far, so good, right? I mean, she got stopped. She's not irate. She's not berating the cop. She's complying. Now, she was breaking the law. Driving 42 miles per hour in a, I think it was 20 miles per hour section. It's pretty crazy. But did he just say, I smell something strong coming from the car? As in, I'm guessing alcohol. And she said, yeah, I need to stay up for my kids. I do smell some toxin coming from the car. Not super no, strong. My, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm trying to stay up. I got two kids. Say what now? <laughs> like you need to stay up for your children so you are potentially drinking and driving. Now, I don't know what the cop is smelling, so maybe he's gonna elaborate in this video, but that's a very weird response from this woman. Let's keep watching. I mean, okay, I understand. Yeah, so I mean, I'll let you work on the insurance and then I'll just do my side of things and we'll get you home, okay? Alrighty. All right, so. A Pretty normal. Providing dispatch with Shala's name, they advised she had a misdemeanor warrant through La Crosse County. She was also currently out on two bonds. License status. Scratch that. Not normal. <laughs> so she has two. What did he say? Let me go back. He said she has. Upon providing, upon providing dispatch with Shala's name, they advised she has. She had a misdemeanor warrant. She was also currently on out on two bonds. Okay. She was also currently out on two bonds. Okay. License status. Suspended black female wanted person. 52 I my driver. <laughs> Suspended license and she's a wanted female. Can you yeah. stay in the car, please? Maybe you shouldn't be speeding if you have a warrant out for your arrest. I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing that's probably a better a better way to drive. Can you stay in the car, please? Can you hurry up? I'm trying. I'm trying to go home. I have a daughter at home. I'm trying. I'll get you out of here, okay? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did she just come out of the car and say, I need you to hurry up. I got a daughter at home. She has to know. She has to know that this cop is 110% going to find out that she has a warrant out. She has to know this. So the fact that she is sitting in her car, has the nerve to get out of the car and with an attitude tells the cop, hurry up. I got a daughter at home. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now you see why I can't stop watching these videos because people are freaking crazy. All right, let's keep watching. Eventually, Shala exited her vehicle and confronted the officer, telling him to speed up the process. <laughs> what? She has to be drunk. Shala, Shala, I'm just trying, I'm trying to get your stuff done. I'm just trying to get your stuff done here, okay? So you getting out of the car is going to make it longer. You've got a speeding ticket. It'll take 30 minutes for that. I've had a it before. Hasn't, it hasn't been 30 wow. minutes. Wow. Bro, it's taking like 45 minutes for this right now. Okay, you want to go sit back in the car for me? No, bro. Like, literally hurry up, bro. I'm trying. Okay? I'm not doing s***. I went five over because of my f***ing speedometer, bro. <laughs> I can't f***ing afford to get that fixed. I'm a single mom of two, bro. I don't got right. s*** else to do, bro. All right. Can you go sit in the car for me, please? Please hurry up, because I'm, I'm not trying to do this right now. I know. I got an entire license. I got full coverage insurance, everything, bro. I'm not trying to play with you, dude. You trying to do too much. Can you follow me home up the street one block? No, we got. We have to stay here for now, okay? No, you're doing too much, bro. We can go up the street one block. <sighs> He's doing too I much. I have my daughter with my mom right now. I know, okay. I tried to drop off my friend, her drunk ass, bro. I got you. Can you go sit in the car for me? And I will try to get you stuff done. What this else? Because my fucking license ain't expired nothing, bro. What's up? Okay. Can you go wow. Sit what's up? What's up? Go sit in the car. No. What's up? Okay. okay. She obviously wants to get arrested. She must want to. She She must want to get arrested because what kind of person gets out of the car knowing that they have warrants out for their arrest, at least one, and decides to argue with the police officer because he's taking too long? Now, granted, I've been stopped by a cop before, and it sucks. It's scary. It's overwhelming. It's nerve wracking. I get anxiety. It's not fun. But one thing that I don't do is jump out of the car and then tell the cop to hurry up because I got things to do. Especially if I have a warrant out for my arrest. Yeah, 
I'm gonna just be quiet and pray to the Lord Almighty <laughs> that I don't get caught. How about that? But this young woman has decided that screaming at the cop and telling him to hurry the hell up is a much better strategy. Again, now you see why I can't stop watching these videos because these people are crazy. Let's keep watching. For jail, for what, bro? I'm asking what's going on because he's taking too long. He's taking 30 years. For what, bro? That's what I'm saying, bro. He's taking too long. Okay, so she's talking to, I think, a friend on the phone. And the friend is telling her, just behave. You, you, you're you're going to get arrested. Stop. <laughs> and she's arguing with her friend. Yeah, she's just out of the car yelling and stuff, but she's not going to be too happy. Oh, <laughs> he's about to tell her. He's about to tell her. Why is she screaming? Mm -hmm. Got two officers. All right. So, Shala, you have a warrant. Okay. For what? I'm on bond. Yes, I know that. Yeah. I have court. Have a, a she admits it. A local 99. What is that? It's a local warrant. I apologize. I don't know what that is. Okay. Can you step on He's trying to no, tell you. Can you tell me what that is? Absolutely <laughs> not. Mom, can you come get me? Because he's trying to take me to jail us. for nothing. Right, it's her mom. You guys slammed me on my face. And yes, I tweaked out because they slammed me on my face downtown on October 5th when okay. somebody else was fighting. Hey, somebody Shala, else. Shala, so it sounds like your warrants are just for failure to appear. Okay. I don't know what they didn't tell me to appear to anything. Okay, so the fact that she's saying, oh, well, I have a warrant out, yes, but it's because I got into a fight with the officers because they slammed me on my face and they were mean to me. Something tells me with her attitude with this stop that she probably wasn't being <laughs> a great citizen when she got arrested the first time. Now, I don't know her situation. I don't know if what she's saying is the truth or not, but what I do know is that based on her demeanor in this video, it doesn't really look good. It looks like she's somebody who is ready to fight. <laughs> on site and when it comes to officers you're always going to lose you are always going to lose that battle so let's keep watching no no mom what the f you mean shayla <laughs> her mom no, is like come get me now oh, she's crazy all right can you please step out of the car for us hey stop don't do that <laughs> <gasps> 52 vehicle just took off. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, okay. I still have Sorry, guys, that's something in my eye. So she literally just took off. She took off in the car. And what's crazy is the cops are like, okay. They didn't even react. They're like mad calm. I've seen other videos where people take off and cops like run after them immediately in their cars. So the cops are pretty calm, which again is another point in this video. The cops are very polite. They're very respectful. They haven't raised their voice. They haven't yelled at her. They haven't even touched her. And yet she's screaming, she's yelling, and now she takes off in her car. Something tells me she's going to be going on arrest number two. 10 I still have her ID, so 10 whatever her return says. Uh, they still have her ID. Whatever her return says. After scanning the area for Shala's vehicle, it was located running with no one inside. Wow. Why would you take off and they have your ID? They know where you live. <laughs> oh, she hit somebody's car. Oh my God. Oh, my, my other half right here is just walking me up. Wow. Let's add crashing into a car on top of everything else. Wow. That's her. That's her friend there. Why would you crash a car in front of your house? I was smelling alcohol on her. She has a oh drink my gosh. Bar. She told me she was at George Street Pub. Did you tell her that she had the warrant? Or did yeah, I told her. She That's knows. Like, she, was up, she was like getting out of the car when I was doing her paperwork. And, oh boy. I think she definitely, she was hitting stuff on the way over here too. So, oh yeah. Yep. Police oh my spoke God. with her mother outside as Shala refused to exit the residence. It appeared she had also struck a parked car that belonged to her mother. She hit her mother's car. She hit her mother's car. Okay. You freaking yeah, kidding me? Damage on the, the side of it over there. Well, we're, yeah, we'll still oh do God. like an accident report just so you can give that. I feel bad for her mom. Yeah. Cause her mom seems so chill. <sighs> that's the 
That's a freaking. I was trying to stay. She scratched her mom's car up. Yeah, I know. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. You weren't. I mean, even if she just talks to me through like a door so I can get her statement of how this happened, that way I don't have to cite her for hitting her on. Wow. I mean, she has a warrant. How much is warrant? It's a misdemeanor. Can I just say, these cops are freaking amazing like the guy the cop just said do you mind if we go over there and maybe just open the door a little bit just just, just crack it open so we can talk to her like she literally borderline assaulted a police officer verbally abused him took off in the car crashed not only into a parked car but also her mom's car god knows what other damage she's done and the police aren't knocking the door down instead they're talking to her mom very peacefully and politely and asking her permission to go close to the home to speak to her daughter not to grab her not to invade the home but to talk to her now, I'm just going to say this right now. If this girl that's about to be arrested starts screaming racial stuff, she has no leg to stand on because these cops cannot be any nicer. I don't know what the bond is. What's the bond on Shell's warrant? So the bond is 750 for that warrant. That's not bad, 750. Also, I understand she was scared and she's got a lot going on, but she t like she can't take off from a stop like that either. So she knows that too. She's making it worse for herself. Yeah. She just the moment we don't take care of it. Her mother went inside and eventually convinced her to come out. Oh, wow. <laughs> this girl is crazy. You're gonna arrest me down the stairs because you're not gonna do it in front of my child. Right. Excuse me. Go down there. Why is she so angry? Like. Yeah. Alrighty. She's so rude. Uh, nobody slammed on your face. So she don't want her kid to see her getting arrested. Maybe screaming at the top of your lungs, not a good thing to do. If you want your kid not to know you're getting arrested, it's probably best not to make a scene while getting arrested. I'm just saying. If you're not going to do what I say, there's some Stop. I didn't do. You already slammed me on my face. You went out to white people. I hate white people. Okay. I hate white people. Wow. I hate you. I don't care. You're not cool. I hate white cool. people. You're weird. You're white. And you're white. And you think you have power. You $18 hour ass. Wow. The weird ass bitch, you have no power. You have no power. None. That's why I'm already suing this entire police officer, whatever the f I'm gonna suing all of you. I'll spit in your face. Hurry up! Hurry up! I'll spit you in your face. Hurry up! Hurry up! You already have me. What the f did you have to lock your handcuffs? You already locked them. All right, I got to pause for a second because, wow, that is a lot to take in. I was hoping that this would not go the race route, but like I said at the start of this video, I wouldn't be surprised. And it's crazy how the moment the cops do their job and they start to arrest her, she starts screaming obscenities at them and accuses them of being racist. She said numerous times, I hate white people. First, you slam me on my face and now you arrest me. Notice how she is completely like delusional. <laughs> like these cops are not the same cops that slammed her on her face when she was arrested prior. But the fact that she is correlating that event with these cops just goes to show that she's incapable of analyzing what's happening, right? Like she's just meshing everything together and in her mind, all cops are bad. All white people are this, all white people are that. And again, these cops could not be nicer. They were polite when they first stopped her and they were polite when they met up with her mom after she crashed the car and were even polite by knocking on the door and politely asking her to follow them downstairs. And yet she's screaming, she's yelling. And I think she even called one of them a bully. Like, are you kidding me right now? Like you are the definition of a bully. The victimhood mentality is really, really sad. You can't sit here and tell me that this woman does not live her life through the lens of a racial victimhood mentality lens. Where if things don't go her way, it's because they're white. Question, where is the accountability? Where is it? You're doing something for somebody. You're not. You're not doing anything to nobody. A little 18 year old that has to open my door. He's still dead and motherfuckers playing black people. Weird ass. No, dumbass. Take me in the 
car so I can go get bailed out. Come on. I have I leggings on. I have leggings on. You don't see shit, right? Dumbass. Oh my God. Be real. Be f***ing for real. Be f***ing for real, though. We've been, no. We've been more than cool with you, okay? I don't give a f***. I'm not your people, bro. Come on. Hurry up. I'm not your people. What does that mean? I don't give a f***. It don't got sh to do with that. You and your people. I don't like your kind. What? Wow. I don't like your kind. That's all you guys ever do. You don't give a f*** about nobody. You ain't ever get... I'm trying to help you, Shane. You ain't never tried to help me. Hurry up. Good Lord. Close the door. Close the door. I don't need no f***ing nothing. I don't need no safety, bitch. I don't need no safety, ho. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oof. What the f*** is y'all mediating for? Hurry up. Hurry up. People got lives, dumbass. I got a job. Wow. I feel sorry for her kid. I really do. And her mom. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. This is unnecessary ass. You got me arrested for some other big ass fight. Bro, this is pissing me the f off. I hate white people because they always throw violent the f out of me. I've been here my entire life. Y'all see another black person do some She's black. She's dangerous. Oh, Lord. She's black. She's ignorant. She's dangerous. That's her right there. She's dangerous. Nope. Ain't that how you feel, Mr. Officer? Ain't that how you feel? No, it is not. Yes, it is how you feel. It is how you feel. All right, we got to pause for a second because this, this, we have got to respond to. So she's in the car. She's crying. She's emotional. She's upset, which I understand, right? But then she says, you look at me and you see a black person and you think the worst. I'm, just, I'm kind of paraphrasing right now, but pretty much you see me and you think criminal. You see me and you think bad. You see me and you and you want to come and attack me. What she's displaying right now is her own projections and her own insecurities. And she's throwing it out at the officer who's just doing his job. This guy could not be any nicer. Could have been any nicer. He could have grabbed her immediately when he saw her. He could have kicked her door down and been violent and crazy and loud. And he wasn't. And yet, even though they're so polite to her and they're treating her as they should, like a human being, she's accusing them of being racist. She's accusing them of being animals. She's accusing them of only seeing her color. I think the only person who sees color is this young woman not the cops and sadly this is a theme that we see over and over and over again which i'm always talking about on my channel is the victimhood mentality of people of color who are incapable of taking responsibility for their own behaviors and their own actions and rather than saying you know what i messed up i have a warrant yeah i shouldn't have been driving you're right my bad instead is you're racist you people you're only picking on me because he stopped you because you were speeding that's why he stopped you but when it comes to victimhood mentality number one rule Never take accountability for anything. <sighs> Let's keep watching. How you feel? Y'all slammed me on my face because somebody else was fighting, right? That's why I have a warrant, right? Because you guys slammed me on my face because somebody else was fighting, right? You guys. Yeah, right? Y'all don't give a f about us. You ain't never gave a f about us. You ain't never gave a f about us, especially you. I'm a n to you. I'm a f***ing n***. Wow. I, I, I can give a f about me. When I pulled you over, okay, I was very calm with you. I, I understand you that, but way. I'm scared of police officers because of what they did to me. Okay, and I'm sorry for what happened. So you have some citations coming as well for driving. Along. Okay, if you're scared of police officers, the worst thing to do is to get out of your car and to yell at the police officer. The worst thing to do is as they're arresting you to scream obscenities at them and to physically threaten them. But you're scared of police officers. That right there is not a display of fear. That's a display of anger, of victimhood mentality, and of hatred. But we'll call it fear. Everyone suspended. The speed. I'm not suspended. Why is it saying that? I, I don't know. I, I keep paying them. Why do they give they were so I'm sorry to pause, but I have to, I have to, I have to, oh my God. Did you hear what she just said? While she was crying, she said, I hate 
being black. There it is. Her anger, her frustration, her hatred is all projection because she doesn't like herself. She hates herself, which is so sad. It is so sad to watch a person hate themselves so much that all they can do is mirror that hatred that they have within them onto everyone else. Wow. Like, I'm borderline frustrated watching this, irritated with her, but I also feel really, really bad for her as well. I feel like this is somebody who does not like herself, which is obvious because you don't behave this way if you like yourself. You just don't. But not only does she not like herself, but she hates the skin that she's in. She hates her own race. And it's just interesting how she hates her own race and then she projects that if she hates herself, then of course the white cops must hate her as well. They must hate her. They're picking on her. Like, do you see how when you have a certain perception of yourself, you tend to project that onto everyone else. And you see race in everything, even when it does not exist. These cops did not stop her because she's black. They stopped her because she was speeding. And when they ran her plates and they ran her license, she had a warrant out. That is customary for every single person that gets stopped. The reason why police officers ask for your license when they stop you is because they want to run your license to make sure that you have no warrants. It's what they do. But in her mind, they're picking on her. I was going five over the speed limit, if anything, because of my speedometer is off. Right. But when you took off from the stop? From a stop. You guys said that sh from when I left my house. You said that I sped off from my own house and that I was a drug dealer. And then you said that I right. robbed somebody you from down the street. You have a notation for operating while suspended. Uh, I don't no, they didn't. <laughs> Now she's kicking the door. Great. Let's add property damage to the arrest. Is so sad. Shallow was charged with felony fleeing, eluding an officer, misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, disorderly conduct, and bail jumping. She was later released on a $1,000 signature bond. You know, she's lucky that that's all that she got. Because in my opinion, <laughs> in my opinion, a $1,000 bond is nothing. Nothing. Like, she was out of control. She could have killed somebody while driving. First of all, she was speeding. I think she was drinking and driving. She crashed not only her mom's car, but somebody else's car. And then on top of that, she's kicking the police officer's door, screaming obscenities and threatening him. But yet, <laughs> that's all she got. This video was so much more than just an arrest. This was like a therapy session for this young woman, and it's really sad. And I can only hope and pray for her own mental state that she's able to reflect, that she's able to talk to somebody, that she's able to maybe see herself because this video went viral. It has over 3.5 million views. So hopefully she's seen herself and she could self-reflect and say, oh my God, like what is wrong with me? This is wrong. I shouldn't have said that. You know, because sometimes it's easy to not understand how wrong you can be until you see yourself from somebody else's perspective. And sometimes watching yourself from the third party perspective is the only way to wake you up. So I can only hope and pray that maybe she saw this video and it was a wake up call for her. But what I do know is the way that she was behaving and the things that she was saying are so reflective of the times today, unfortunately. I, I feel for her mom, I feel for her daughter, and I feel for her, I do. Hopefully she can see this and grow. But you know, it's sad because in today's world, that mentality is celebrated. And that's the problem. And that's why people feel so comfortable living in that reality because it's celebrated. All right, guys, that's all for today. If you enjoy my content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video. I'm also available on TikTok and on Instagram under Curly Boy Chuck. So follow me there so we can connect. I'm going to have a link to my PayPal and also to my Cash App if you guys want to donate to my channel. All proceeds will go back into this channel so I can continue doing what I'm doing. And also don't forget to click on the link in my pinned comments for my collaboration and sponsorship with Fume. Until next time. Peace.